that are defanged. Okay, okay. Oh. Oh man, that was insanely close. Thanks for messing around and some vampire survivors. I'll be continuing to beat every stage with every character. Newt is going to go back to Mad Forest for the Beswick, and maybe he'll actually succeed this time. Who knows? Who knows? Really do not think Diver Mines are good at all. Like, there is nothing helpful with these. Oh, it gave me a lot of stuff I don't want. Weapon power up early. Get to another level. Look at this. Long gun would have... He is so, so difficult to get levels with. Another weapon, obviously, would be better, but right now, it's really bad. Laser, not what I'm getting. Wait, let's see what go with. Your Jisoo. Just banned. Prism last. Helpful. Oh, let's get rid of some stuff in the way. Sure, I could banish it, but you gotta run some risk. Yeah, this is off to another terrible start for old Nudie. It's all gonna be bad starts for him. Oh, man. Go so hard to get XP. Not a single thing helpful. I didn't even show up with diver mines. I've only got so few passives that were grabbed. Who? They aren't showing. That's ridiculous. Well, at least they can still one shot things when it's on this low. I don't want that. We're getting a track warp, so Santa Water is a good pickup. So hopefully that fixes some issues he has. It will not. Not like he gets anything from his speed. Well, it's more than it was. That's nice. Hey, empty tome. That's going to be very helpful, because it's empty tone, and it's always helpful. Best passive in the game. Ta -ta. Okay, boss town. Do okay damage up front, but it's just a combination of being so slow, and the area isn't all that much. It doesn't do any pierce. Even if you go boo, it will have some issues in the end. Now, Tama Torpedo, that really should be good. I just had really bad circumstances with its use. Yeah, I still get much done here, huh? Should just stand in holy water, or Santa water. Let that save me. Oh, that got in. That's what he figures. Sword. Sink to water. Better. Okay, cooldown maxed out. Should have a chance. Alright, sink to water once again. And having no pierce is just really critical and doesn't fire fast enough or do enough upfront damage. Really just wave clear like Long Gun can. I do legitimately think it is worse than Long Gun. Long Gun's still pretty bad, but... I mean, it's better than Short Gun. Short Gun eventually gets pierced and break it. And there I go, with nothing helpful. Nope, not either what I was looking for. You know what? Yes, let's get Long Gun. Let's show off that Long Gun is better. Oh, there's only a trap for and Tronus box. I don't think it could. The, the damage from a long gun is pathetic. It keeps firing. It doesn't stop. The pierce is bad. Pierce. I'll actually hit things. I can wave clear with it like this. Now it just increases my overall attack speed. Still, 69 is a lot. Hey, why isn't it 69? Yeah, I will definitely say that long gun is better. I, this is without even heart of fire. 
Start a fire, it's much, much better. Like, this sheer number of shots makes up for it. Like, maybe, maybe not in runs where you can't get this much cooldown. I mean, with 69, it basically fires endlessly. It still gets pierced. Even base level ups, it gets pierced. It means it, with Heart of Fire, it does so much more. No point going after the Atlanteans. Oh, right. The first Arcana chest, or the first chest here is actually an evolution chest for some reason. Really weird. None of the other ones till 10 are, though. I mean, I guess theory you could get a golden finger evolution chest that's not gonna happen like ever I mean a bunch of might because that scale and might yeah look at what long gun is doing compared to what it diver mine is doing it's so much better I do legitimately think it is a better weapon. Our mine is really, really bad. What should I name the video? Long gun is better than diver mine? Heck yes. I really should not grab that chest. That was insanely risky. For all three of these ones, I'm gonna do a comparison between diver mine and long gun and see which one actually does better. figures. Limited pickups cause issues. But, you know, Bill cleared Mad Forest with pretty much no real trouble. Well, he had trouble. He was just able to do it. Newt failed like a dozen times before I had to give up. That's... It's nice not having enemies that are a giant sack of HP. I should stop getting XP till the boss spawns in. Oh, I'm stuck on that thing there. I mean, I guess I can... Nope. Uh, da, da, da. Okay, Long Gun only does about 20 damage. That's terrible. Uh, da, 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 da. If only there was some way to boost it up more correctly. Alright, boss, where are you at? There you are. Blow you apart. Let's see what evolution I get. Not a torpedo. Alright, maybe I can actually get some good use out of this. Oh, they aren't being sucked in. There they are. Okay, weapon power up that doesn't actually do anything. Oh, it actually fires out torpedoes from Newt. Never noticed that before. Alright, so they are definitely getting sucked in. Alright, so they get dragged to the center, but they don't get pulled out when they're outside of it like some other things do. Hush, hush. Oh, right, I don't have a choice. And if Divine Bloodline affected Long Gun, it would be super beyond crazy. Anyways, we'll change it. Well, because it gives you base damage, which then gets multiplied by Might. You might as well get Awake. Not gonna be in any real danger. In fact, I'm gonna go start fighting them a lantern soon. Remember when the skeleton wave was dangerous? Oh. I really do think Long Gun's actually better than it seems. Character that can get some more might would make it even better. Like Newt, actually. You know what? For the second round, I'm gonna do both on Evolve. Give them a full comparison. So. Oh, I 
My revolution chest. Yay. Now I can evolve it to Labora. It will absolutely 100% be Labora and not Prototype A. I called it. Now obviously Labora is going to out damage them both. There's no chance it doesn't. Hmm. Once there are some good weapons that would combine with the Atomic Torpedo. Let's see. Bible would keep them back. It's obviously firing more to the edge of the screen than towards me. Oh. Well. Yeah, the pierce. The pierce really does help with that. And with enough mount and stuff. Oh, double mount. I should really be focusing on the Atomic Torpedo first. But Labora is still Labora. It's still amazing. So, weapons that can keep them knocked back, too, so they keep getting vacuumed in. Now, you don't actually want that much amount. It's a cooldown, or area. You still want amount. You want a ton of amount, so there's always ammo. ammo. Anyway, now it's quick. All right, prototype A. Changes how it shoots. Yeah, you start shooting... Character models start shooting the weird Mega Man X charge shots. Well, the prototype drones themselves shoot out the long gun shots. They aren't actually shoot out as much as the long gun itself did. Kind of strange way to do it. Alright, Atlanteans, let's show off and beat you up. Yeah, this is sort of showing off that he had to pay for I didn't don't think divers mines are very good damage is good but the lack of area in pierce see if I got boogaloo but no wouldn't it have mattered he got so little in the way of levels that it wouldn't really have helped okay let's beat down this Atlantean oh wait look at that wide shot and shortgun, shortgun's still worse. Like, this is at least, wow, I, that was very quick. Shortgun is still the worst. No, not being able to aim is terrible. And it, it just doesn't do anything you really want. No pierce on a gun that short with one real shot. Terrible. Oh, right. Go punch Atlanteans in the face. I really need to work on that tier list. It will accomplish basically nothing, as seen by the fact they got no views on that. No weapons, no damage, no hurting enemies at all run with Simundo. And I was really hoping that one would do something, but nope. Oh well, that's on me. I must have messed up a lot of stuff for that to not get any views. Maybe just stop experimenting with my style. I don't know. Probably make a different type of thumbnail for this one. Sort of just wanted to divide the thumbnails for the waves into different ones each time, but clearly they're too ugly to be clicked upon. Well, uh, ones for Operation Guns were we need a lot better, so use that sort of as the baseline. Then use text to describe what's going on in the video. Yeah. Yeah, I want to keep every state character on it. Well, you know what? I don't have every stage in every video. Clearly, I don't need to have every character on it. I mean, I'll keep it for the outro. That's actually a nice sight. Yeah, it's not like anyone watches the outro. Not like anyone's watching this anyway. Thanks to the one person who did, though. The only heartening thing I have is that sometimes the video watch... The views may be terrible, but occasionally the watch time is pretty good. So, thank you. If you want a more personal thank you, give a... Good old comment down below. Wow, the Atlanteans go down so easily without Inverse on. Oh, that's what they get for not having triple or quadruple HP. Huh, the flowers are going down pretty quickly, too. 
Oh, hey, Boogaloo. You're gonna accomplish nothing, but might as well grab you. And yeah, level 108, not bad considering the circumstances, honestly. Oh. <laughs> you know, it's kind of funny watching the atomic torpedoes since they decrease in size by default, then their area will keep decreasing because of Boogaloo on. And Labora's here. You know what? Yeah. Diver Mines versus Long Gun. Which is better? I uh, have to switch up my seals more, but I think that's a good comparison to make. Obviously, I can't do anything that specifically benefits one over the other. So it will have to... No Heart of Fire for a Long Gun, though. That would be a consideration. Otherwise... And then... Do the same thing for Lance. That way he won't get the benefits of newt. But... Oh, hey, candy box. I can't. No, armadillo would be really neat. And though most of the time you aren't going to... Oh, no. Now I think about it. Even if all your offensive needs are taken care of, you could still grab something for defense. And it's not like... One level for a tier Jisoo is going to break your damage enough to be ruining the run. Especially because you get two revives out of it. Or heck, if you banished it already, you won't even do that. Man, I forgot how dang weak everything is when you're not on inverse. It's easy. Oh hey, I actually took damage. Man, these things were just not going down whatsoever. Look, even the boss died instantly. Yeah, I think there's more levels than every single failed run of Newt had. Incredible. Wow. They're getting really big with Boo Boo. I might even get that many levels off of it. So obviously Silent Old Sanctuary. But what else would be? I need a third that contributes to that will still have damage both of them. Ah, Laurel. That way I can just get a pure them situation going. My own old sanctuary. Go for a stage that has an arcana on the map. That way I can run and run and grab the other one I need ASAP. All right, good. Newt's looking like he's on the trail of victory. They're definitely a Tama Torpedo is better. Look at that safety it gives you. Beautiful. Actually, does this do... Yeah, this does innate pierce, doesn't it? Well, maybe I got pierce levels. Either way, obviously going to be better than long gun. Get three times as many shots. They're bigger. They're better. Battling the bats. Yeah, totally. That's totally what I meant. Oh wow, that was a bunch of levels. Wow, he's actually got so many kills considering. Right, turn him into dust. Oh right, should go grab all these nice little red gems here. Yeah, level up, new. Level up. You're not gonna die now with all the stuff I've given you. Okay, this is surprisingly. This is gonna be a bit more difficult, but I suppose actually having weapons benefits new more than just having base diver mines. You know which way I was theorizing when I was using him. Also, getting the evolution bloody health. Hi, death. Bye, death. Alright, and we are at quitting out. Bora obviously completely stomped both of them. Yeah, long gun absolutely out damaged diver mines. Had basically the same time and over twice as much DPS. Had less time even. I'm a torpedo out did prototype A though. So that's pretty clear. 
Definitely Labora was a standout, though. But that's one down. Let's see how they do on Evolve next time. Okay, time for the second wave. Newt, we will be going to a stage that has some Kana on the map by default. So, let's see. This, this, let's roll. Yes, let us go to Polis Replica. I really should have done this ahead of time. This is not Polis Replica. Uh-oh. Okay. Oh. Come on, give me Long Gun Macehap. Bone before Long Gun. I banished so many things. Bonus boxes on the map, but it's third wave, so. Oh, Laurel, that's my other weapon. Or a definition of a weapon. Okay, let's just go get the Arcana ASAP so I can get that scaling speed in as soon as I can. Ignore everything else, it's not important. Boy, it would be nice if Diver Mines weren't terrible. No Boogaloo. No Boogaloo. Guess I'm the Dark Knight. What? Oh man, the hand did so much damage. Not good. Especially because I banished the weapon pickup. There we go, Long Gun. was turning out to be a very bad idea. One more projectile is more damage. Hold on, reduced. Oh, I'm not surviving this one. And if I do, it'll be by the skinniest tin of my teeth. Barrel explode. Save me, barrel. More diver mine. Obviously gonna get a benefit from being higher level. Faster, but still. I could use some light sources. Nope, that's not a chicken. Don't save me random XP vacuum. Wow, you did not want to give me... did not want to give me an empty tome at all, game, jeez. Okay, I got double. Oh, nice, chicken. Why did I get a tracked orb? Not evolving them. Uh-oh. Dumb. Oh, well... Let's see how far I can go while messing up once more. Yeah. It definitely feels like Long Gun is doing more. It's lower level, too. It's doing some better work now. It's still not great. Ah, oh, dang it. Thanks, shooters. Man, they fired through the wall, jeez. Guess that's something you gotta watch out for. Pull down. Right, now it's getting fast as fire. Once I get that one level of pierce, it'll really start taking off. Well, that mind it reached the peak of its power. Back to peak. Looking nice. Laurel's really helping out here. Hey, chest go. Ooh, triple chest too. Good. Alright, I got back up to full health. That's nice. Ooh, grenade. 
Alright, so more levels on long gun. Base damage up by 5. That's incredibly good. Now it's super fast now. Oh, they're getting in. We'll then reduce the end. Look at that pierce level. Basically completely change how the gun works. And then I try to keep them even through limit break. There we go. Yeah, look, it's just chewing through their entire wave now. They don't stand a chance. Oh, more Logan. Oh, why is it wavy shooting like that? That's really weird. Oh, right. Probably should have actually made sure I hit it with the dang dire mines. Pull down, reduced again. Now it's firing so fast that packing so fast that it's hitting multiple times, shooting out multiple shots. Okay, it's not going so badly. I mean, I lost my one revive. Guess I could grab a wake later. The only other option would be Boogaloo, right? Oh, just a... Not a risky one. I got plenty of empty space. I didn't want to get the weapon pick up. Because... Well... I mean, I banished the unevolved weapon, so it's not like that would be a few. Oh, dang it, I didn't mean to hit that. Shadow Snakes. Uh, well, Laurel is clearly carrying this to an absurd degree. Dun, 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 dun. Right, and you are banished, because I do not want anything to do with that. Hey, okay, and I will get nothing from these chests, so... Okay, let's see how they go with some limit breaking. I try to keep them even. The area first for Diver Mind. Gotta make sure that explosion is possible. Pierce an amount for the long gun. Keep them even. The area for a long gun. It will eventually get enough pierce that it'll go through the whole screen even if it gets enough area to clean up everything. I've already seen it somewhat in action here. Pierce and amount are critical, so they will be first priority even if it not evens them. And it's not like I can go perfectly even with how level ups worked. I had to make sure I lived. Hey. Area on Diver Mines is more important. Ooh, NFT. That'll roast them good. That would be helpful. Uh, let's see. Just because, well, Boogaloo would probably be better, but... Here's good. Excellent. Alright, there's two of them down. Three down, four down. Nice. There you go. Never mind, just do your best. Ethan... Those numbers the same as possible. Gotta make sure it's as honest as I can. Ah, uh, here you are, long gun. Oh, hi, merchant. Ran into you on accident. Yeah, I'm not getting a lot of amount or pierce on long gun this time around. It is not that helpful. Here, so oh, and amount. Jeez. Uh, long on his back. Pierce on it is more helpful than a mount. Well, not really. I just want to overfavor long gun because I really don't like diver mines. Because of the pain it gave me with new. Long gun is behind. Now they are even again. I am free to choose. Light on long gun, not the best I pick up. Yeah, it's only like 20-ish damage. Just it's so much that gets through with that. Uh, 
They're on the same, so area with the mines. I was good at just clean out a whole wave, though. Whole corridor. Look at that. Look at that go up. And if I just block work around, damn, they're all dead. Yeah, I'm definitely thinking long gun is better. It just feels so much better to use. And sheer number of attacks can compensate for raw front damage when the diver mine attacks so awkwardly and has so little area. Yeah, I just grabbed whatever instead of anything specific. Still have to get my level ups. Laurel hasn't showed up once. Did it actually do anything? I swear it did, but maybe I'm confusing it with Crimson Shroud and thinking that just because Crimson Shroud has it, it 100% does. And it counts for Laurel as well. Yeah, just fire the wave and damn, Long Gun's getting all of its power ups. Yeah, I'm getting shots getting thrown off the screen now. I'm definitely going to say it. I do think that Long Gun is better than Diver Mine. Maybe the numbers at the end will tell a different story. For right now, what I think. Ooh, good amount. I could run Boogaloo instead. Let's see. We go inverse, grab everything on another high stage with close replica. For real this time. Yeah, in fact, you know what? That's what I will do. They're all three of them. Or all two of them. Ooh. Pierce is fine for the moment, it's still getting through. Go we'll mount for Diver Mines to make sure it's better. That increases its damage a lot more than Pierce would. And I have to compensate with Crappy Might. Yeah, it's only gone up to like 30 damage, even with a bit of Might going into it. And with all the Might given by Speed Bonus. So worthless a stat. Oh, bosses aren't lasting long. Sure, it's not on inverse, which is probably some of the reason why. Here's silver everything. Still not going through every enemy in a circle formation, but still. Still. Yeah. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to go to Polis Ruffa, grab... Both the scalers off the start. Then use Sonal Sanctuary off the Arcana on the map. I'm gonna go to inverse to switch it up. Uh, more Pierce is good, Pierce. Man, is this still on hurry? This feels like it's taking forever. Probably because it is taking forever. Okay. Oh, Long Gun is way ahead right now. I gotta fix that, even if it costs me some piercing amount. Actually, I don't see him now. No, there was definitely some amount last time. Isn't real life a terrible thing? Okay, the mines are behind. Now they're not. I'm definitely thinking that Long Gun is doing all the work here. Area's better. 
Actually, is the area even remotely helpful? Oh, mines are behind. Feels like it's so long. Well, probably because I have to make sure they're evened out. So I'm limit breaking everything specifically for specific intent. Really wasn't expecting to do this, but hey, sometimes you just get ideas in the middle of ideas and gotta do it. And, well, that gives me an idea for Bill, who will be doing the same thing. See which one of their bonuses applies better. Man, just tearing through them with no trouble at all, huh? Even these bosses are going on easy. Inverse just makes them so tanky. Well, that's why I'm going to go inverse just to see how, when it's actually thicker, how they compare. I mean, at least diver mines will all basically always hit. They're never not going to hit. But, hmm, not actually that much high of a level, all things considering. I was higher on Mad Forest. Ooh, wow, the pierce isn't... Oh, no, it's still getting through. It's just they were really packed in there. Actually, considering how basically invincible I seem to be, uh, I just grab a wall for everything. That's a good idea. I'm not taking damage. I didn't think this would happen. I just wanted to do it because it was really the only thing I could grab that wouldn't interfere with how effective the weapons were when paired against directly with each other. What is that down there? Oh, how are the differences? Okay, I overfocused on long gun again. And obviously NFT is gonna have damage them both, but oh, look at it go. Look at it go! They all burn. They all burn good. Ick speed. Only got damage bonus from the speed. More speed. Dang. Okay, let's get the mic going. keeps getting pushed up so I can't focus on the boss like I should. There we go. That one's pretty durable too. Man, you really, really do feel the effects of the inverse when you play it for that long. These are just going down so quick, it's incredible. But that's what Polis Replica is going to be for. Getting it when the Diver Mine's higher damage will be worth more. Compared to the, there is Long Gun amount. Long Gun's sheer DPS. I just did double long gun again, didn't I? Triple long gun. It's firing out so many shots. Oh, it's these guys. You know, I think it's the first time I've actually had a video where they were clear on the screen, considering every time otherwise it was some sort of gigantic, ugly mess. Yay! Oh, might. Gotta boost up the dive mind unless, you know, a mount or pier shows up for long gun. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're going down nice and easy to both of these now. And I'm not being hurt at all. Man, that was really low. Obviously, it's not going to be the best showing without having a bunch of things to scale up with your stats. I have so many things to do that I can't just keep rolling the bones on Wicked Season runs till I win. I got work, I got streaming, I got trying to sleep and failing miserably repeatedly. Well, I guess it's more like getting a full eight hours. It's failing miserably. Oh, hey, more amount for diver mines. That seems really low a percent chance. Like, incredibly bad. At what? Oh. I know it's low. Uh, diver mines is still behind, so get the light going. 
All right, here's the big 28 minute wave. I got three revives. Basically enough cooldown with Laurel that I'm invincible for some reason. I really thought it was, you had to hit like 90 with a bunch of duration, but I guess not. Or he's just killing so fast that things can't get in. Oh yeah, they're way harder. That's a big difference here. Not oh, more Logan. Ooh, there's not actually that many power-ups down as there. All right. Uh, oh, I should have moved to this cross. I didn't want to get close to it because I have a tract orb. Oh, man. Okay, this is a bit risky here. Oh, that chicken is so far away. I did not get much in the way of light sources, did I? Uh-oh. This is exceptionally bad. I gotta stick towards ones that are defanged. Man, that was insanely close. Good thing I picked up Awake. Okay, yeah, Long Gun vastly, vastly out damages Diver Mines. Holy crap. And I have less time, too. Alright, uh, let's see what happens, though, when I get enough area to compensate. Okay, inverse was a bust, so let's not do that. Still, trying to go down. Chaos first because it gets damage and take a while to actually get there. I don't know, I need to talk to Merchant. Roll, re roll, re roll, long gun. Good, fast long gun. I want too many levels before I get the other arcana. Yes, I think I'll take that over Laurel this time. Because I can get Paranormal Scan and see what happens when they both get super cracked out with it. Which means I will be grabbing the mini ghost over too. And banishing um oh, cracked orb, obviously. I will count ghost, because ghost counts towards me. Can't get something else. On top of it. Or it can fuse, but otherwise, no, it's, it counts towards the limits. Don't get kills, get success. Minimize my damage so I can get that other Arcana, get the Boogaloo of Illusions going. We go and not away right away right that means i'm really slowly firing until i can get well i'm faster firing now but until i can get all right until i can get satisfaction no satisfaction until i get the other arcana with chaos in the dark knight my offense is going to be really poor Not Chaos on the Dark Knight, it's not an old Sanctuary, geez. Oh, and I should go get the level for Paranormal Scan because it's on the- er, Life Science Scan because it's on the map. Don't get Tronas, just back out. Hey, Chesto. Alright, five minutes is coming up, that means... We'll be showing off the old... Batarang. Batarang? What? No, we'll be getting the emergency event, which means I will be getting a penta chest, a gold chest, five chests, five rewards. They will all be Tarona's box. 
and painful to cut. Oh wow, I'm really low on health. That was unexpected. Okay, my damage is a lot... My wave clear is a lot worse than I thought because I was focusing on getting this up. Yes, that old sanctuary does a lot of carrying here. A lot. What about that barrel? Barrels on pull this replica? Who'd have ever thought? Wow, I have gained bad luck with light sources is too, huh? Oh, of course it's all right where I wasn't. Or was. I'm not now. This is bad. So much worse, too. Wow. Oh, grenade. Nice. Alright, maximum shot time. Wow, it's going so fast, even without San Old Snags, right? Okay, very low health here. Hopefully, this fixes some of that. Good, good levels. Brian Philo, many ghosts. Ice blast some more. Because that will give me nice safe corridors to move around. No, oh, just like the first one was carried by Labora, this one's gonna be covered by mini ghost. Oh man. Oh good. I max it out. Okay, I didn't. Close to maxed out. No NFT grab. Trying to get long gun up. Definitely, a yeah, long gun is just better. Eventually, my levels are going to get stronger. And you know, with enough area, maybe diamond mines can pull something off, but. No, I'm definitely going to say long gun's better. And that was without anything that would actually boot it. Or like Heart of Fire could really its ability to kill. Alright, almost to the other scan. Where'd this chest come from? And with some pierce. Yep, turn him up with the pierce. Nice. Oh, it got I thought it only had seven levels. Oh wow, I actually had a lot more kills than I thought. Yep, they're getting trounced now. Chicken? I don't need that chicken, I'm gonna grab it anyway. Alright, now it's some area. Oh, now with every stat. Alright. Which one is going to evolve first? I'm betting on Paranormal Scan. I need to count being the only one that could. Whoever could have guessed that. Fight on Diver Mines is more helpful. That is there. Okay, it's a mini red. That's not too far away. I should centralize myself more. Area on long gun is not helpful, but even because speed is. Also, I'm just gonna paranormal scan soon, so no point getting a life sign scan. And inverse is. Well, no, I actually got to 15 in inverse. This is actually. I mean, slow work because I didn't have Silent Old Sanctuary. Compensate for my damage, but when those mobs get harder, I think, oh, Pierce is better. All right, paranormal scan, save the day. Oh, and a candy box that I will not be using. What a sad world we live in. Hey, Mini Red, we're doing do nothing for me. Light. 
They both have no levels, so grab it. Hey, and here's my silent old sanctuary, finally. And that brings it up to 69. Huh. Hey, and eventually that'll give me enough cooldown that it'll start firing off endlessly. Yeah, look at all that XP going now. Why did I do that? Oh, paranormal scan just because of fucking on our stat boost. I always grab that if it shows up. Yay! A mount or cracked. No, it's cracked orb. A mount, yay, a mount. There's yay. The faster I can get that max cooldown, the faster everything will fly up to victory. Area. Oh, hmm. Hmm. How would that work? I think you might actually have an idea for Ghost Pino now. I really didn't think any character that's invincible, but maybe going for maximum kills in a better circumstance would. Wow, it just wants to keep moving up. Oh, wait. Oh, no, I got health from it, didn't I? Okay, clearly this is just a showcase of paranormal scan. This will not be benefiting my actual guns at any point. This is great. Oh, hey, which one's lower? Never mind. There's an amount again. No, oh, how to get it. Has more to help than anything else. Even scary on diver mines is more valuable. Not that anything is valuable at this point, other than paranormal scan levels. Oh yay! The diver mines can't not hit. Can't not. Well, I mean, you guys, they could eventually run out of cool or duration. How often is that ever going to happen when you're playing with anything real? Dang, I had to give up Pierce. Really shouldn't have given up Pierce. It's more valuable than one more amount. Well, area and might are not that helpful. Mount there is helpful. Er, mount is always helpful. Area and might are not helpful. In comparison. Only doing like 30 damage, even like having a bit of chaos in the dark night might go in now. Well, that was a choice. All right, feel bold enough to start taking on them Atlanteans. So, Silver Atlantean, show us the moon. All right, enough armor. Oh, hey, the mines actually did something. I can actually see their explosion. That's because, uh, Spinal, or Google Illusions is doing stuff. Mount one. Where are you? Pierce, yeah, Pierce. Double Pierce, nice. Maybe the numbers will tell a different story, but it seriously feels like Long Gun is so much better than Diamond Mines. Maybe in more full circumstances, it away think Diamond Mines better, but I just can't see it. Now, maybe without Silent Old Sanctuary, that would help out. Well, at least the explosion's nice and big now. Oh, I took damage because I stood still. Oh, that didn't last long. Oh, rapid fire. That'll really help out with you. 
And that's as fast as it goes, so that's good. Maximum speed. No, wait, wouldn't Mina be better? Because of the speed of the cane. Yes, yes, that would be an idea. Which one's lower? Dire Mind Speed. So, discard. Bye bye, Gold Ring. Bye bye. Oh, I suppose I could have grabbed it, but. Oh, wait, damage. How did that happen? Oh, I guess they're durable enough to get into the waves if I'm not circle shooting. Uh, 78 cooldown, still not maxed out. 81, getting closer. Eventually, there'll be enough cooldown. Once that's maxed out, yay, I'm out. Or I'm out. Well, oh, long gun's way ahead right now. Well, that's because I got far more important things to grab than a bit of might. I know I'm giving a lot of favoritism for Hort's long gun, but Pierce is so much more valuable than Diver Mind's getting a bit more might, and amount doesn't show up all that often for it. Okay, they're even again. Right to the last Atlantean we go. 87, it's almost maxed out. 21 minutes in. Alright, no fourth arcana since I already grabbed all three. I will not be grabbing it anyway, even if I did spawn in. I lie easily as I breathe. Oh, there we go, it's the Atlantean. Diver Mines does do more upfront damage, so maybe with more might focused builds. I really think that a long gun is better. Hey, maxed out. Da da da. Behind. Wait. I'm out. Yay, I'm out. And the paranormal scan weapons just benefit both of them, so. Good reason to pick up. Well, for most circumstances, they benefit it. And if I get speed, that means I get might. Hey, there's a fifth of a revive. 4% more. I mean, Colonel with Paranormal Scan would be crazier. Wicked Season, Paranormal Scan. Damn, you just get so many stats so fast. Hey, lucky old amount. Mines was behind again. Yes, yeah, obviously isn't clearing the whole screen as super well. Obviously difficulties, but overall it's been okay. It's been okay. After sometimes you just want okay. No, oh, oh yeah, I could break out of bounds, couldn't I? Yeah, long gun is way behind at the moment. Oh, I couldn't. Huh. Weird. Well, that, you know, just happens sometimes. Oh, good, I am recording. Okay, okay. They are getting taken care of. No problems here. Alright, yeah, I should be on the victory track. Not a surprise, because they got paranormal scan. That's usually why I try not to grab it. Because it's just kind of strong. I want there to be something to happen in the videos. Alright. 2510 is when I start attacking you. Let's see how long you last. What? Where's that healing coming from? Am I getting healed? Is the boss getting healed? Well, boss? Well, I guess it's me getting healed. The paranormal skin. Duh. I have so much health that it can't actually hurt me. Got a bunch of armor, too. 
How much armor is that? Oh, wow, the atomic torpedo explosion is very big. It's actually getting shot behind the boss. That's neat. Oh, I want the 73 health. That's going so fast now. I'm not getting much in the way of kills because I'm focusing on the boss too much. Actually, no, the area is getting bigger and bigger. I mean, it come as no surprise. 43,000, not the worst, could be much better. Far behind what happened on that force, though. Wow, watching the explosion grow in real time is kind of weird looking, huh? Oh, wait, no, that's because of Boo's explosion expanding thing. Area expansion. Wow, you last a very long time, boss. I sh I'm shooting you with long gun, right? Okay, I don't think I was actually shooting with long guns somehow. Oh, well, I might actually not be able to take it down despite this stuff going on. Oh, well, that's level times HP for you, I guess. What enemies going on? Well, obviously I could have gotten all the XP around me. I just sitting here doing nothing. This is the big red gem. Hey, this is... How many levels? I was at 111, I think. That was not very many at all. Wow, I killed nothing. Well, I can kill the boss, so kill everything else I can. Go wide, go hard, kill everything. Bezzing around story. Okay, what do we got? Well, Diver Mines actually did out damage it this time because of Boogaloo of Illusions. And the base damage compensated more with the might. In lower and more limited settings, long gun's better. That's what I'll say. Alrighty, and old Newt has taken us up to 280, 281, and 282 on the Baswick. And that was a pretty interesting run. I will say that I do think Diver's Mine is worse than Long Gun. That Long Gun is better. Sure, with enough area it compensated, but that was in more specific circumstances, while Long Gun just has more viability overall. And if you can't get the kills to Boogle of Illusions up, then Diver Mines can't do much. That's my theory. What's yours? Leave a comment down below. Thank you everyone who has watched this far and continues to support the channel. I appreciate it. And I would appreciate it if you did another like, dislike, comment, or subscribe. I already gave you a reason to comment, so maybe you'll do it. Maybe you won't. Either way, I hope you have a good day, and you'll keep messing around in the Vampire Survivor's Beswick.